Hello and welcome back to my garage here in Car Mechanic Simulator 2018. As you can see I've been busy working on cleaning up my uh, storage. These are all cars that were in the fourth, third level? Yeah, they're all these cars in the third level. And I have pulled out this Veyron right here is still seemingly stuck in there I think. And I have Let's see, this Mustang Mach 1 is a mod. I pulled it out and looked at it. It's complete, so that means I kept it. This Mustang Mach 1 is the DLC Mustang, and it's red, so I probably finished it. I'm going to have to pull it out and look to make sure. Everything that's in parking 0, 1, and 2 is complete. There was uh, this Jeep Willie Civilian here, and what was the other one? There was another car. Oh, the, the, this SRT Hellcat. Those were both in level three. I moved them out and put them back in, so they went up here. So everything in these three levels is done. There's no junk cars up there. This GT40 is a junk car, I'm sure. So let's clear this stuff out. These are a couple of Bugattis that I still had hanging around. Uh, I got them done so that I can get rid of them. They're worth. One of them is 2.6. Yeah, this one is 2.6 million. And this other one is 2.5 million. No, 2.6. I don't know why I thought they were different. This one is slightly more valuable. So two points. The other one was like 2.67. This is 2.68. But uh, that's fine. I wanted to get rid of them. Uh, these these ones I found I thought were kind of interesting. This is a GT350 Shelby GT350, which is a really nice mod. I've done a lot of these, and that's a Porsche 911 Turbo, which is a DLC car. And they're both roughly about the same value. This one was 235, 235 grand. And this one is close to it, 270, 221 grand. So this Mustang is not that less, not so much less valuable than the Porsche, which I thought was interesting. But uh, these can both go away. That leaves the charger over there, which is what the car I'm going to do. But I want to try and get, uh, let's see, this car I know is done. Yeah, that one is over there. And I want to see if this other, I think this Mach 1 is done. Is well. this, this, is, this one is also done, yeah. So these are both of these are both collector cars that I kept. Move that over there. I want to take them out temporarily. <clears throat> yeah, this is this is a this is the '69. Yeah, so this is the '69 Mach One, and this mod actually has. Actually, I don't, I don't know why I put the Boss logo on it. it probably should be the Mach One logo. <laughs> but um, this mod actually has several variants, and I think I've done all of them. And then, of course, that's the DLC car over there. And I'm pretty sure that this GT40 that's in here is a DLC car. Well, it certainly is a DLC car. Move you there. So I'm going to leave, rather, rather than fool around with this at the moment, I'm going to leave it there for now and get to work on this car because I want to get this done so that I can get it out of here. And we'll do the, the GT40 another time. Uh, I decided to go ahead and knock this car out because somebody asked for a Hemi. And I'm gonna put one in this car because it's prefer it comes with it comes with the V8 6P no OHV mag. The V8 OHV mag which is a disappointing engine to upgrade. So uh, we'll go ahead and throw that one away and build the the Hemi engine for this car. And we'll try to make it look cool. This, I'm probably not going to go with this color. And I'm just going to buy parts.
since this is an older car, the uh, radiator is easy. It doesn't have a, a fan and shroud attachment on it. I'm going to have to clean out all this stuff too at some point. Uh, so all this can go. What all do I have in here? Oh, this is a bunch of extra stuff left over from the Porsche 911. Uh, I'll probably need that. I won't need this or this or this or this or whoop, whoop, whoop no. Or this. Might need these. Okay. Oh. Let's go ahead and get the body taken care of and the interior. And here's all of our charger bits. The uh, the other one is the cha uh, the Hellcat is the Challenger, and I think that there's also sometimes I get those parts confused. Yeah, because there's a there's an there's an old school Challenger, and then the Hellcat Challenger, and sometimes I get those parts mixed up. I'm going to need license plates, too. You have front plates, don't you? I think you do. Yep. There we go. Okay. Hopefully, sorry about that. I had to pa I had to pause for a moment because my air conditioner was wigging out. And I had to go and deal with it. So I paused the recording. Hopefully, it wasn't too jarring. I was careful, but uh, it's always hard to get a good cut that way. So let's get back to work here. I always like to get the stuff like this done ahead of time so I don't have to fool with it again later. Yeah, I knew that wouldn't be here, but I checked anyway. There we go. Mm, 
Okay, let's see if we can make this car look cool. Because they, the liveries that they have are kind of, well, the stripes are always good. I like the stripes. So what do we want to do? This one, this one is, yeah, this one is the wraparound thing on the back. And I think it has, yeah, this was on the front. And then the big fat black. Does that go all the way over the top? No, just the hood. So I think I'm going to do, let's do, do we want to do black? Black with white stripes? Yeah, because I'm going to change the wheels too. I don't want to use these rims. But I think this will look pretty cool. I hope that uh, the next game will have more uh, customization, you know, in the painting. I would really like to be able to do pinstriping and stuff. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I may even have done a charger like this before once upon a time. I can't remember. <laughs> but glossy black is always good. Plus, when you, when you chrome the wheels, it always looks sharp. I'm going to try to use a different set of rims, too. Good old leaf spring. Whoop. Good old leaf spring rear end is real easy to do. Oh, I got an achievement. I can't believe I honestly I can't believe I don't have that one already. I know I have the ones for playing music because, I mean, you don't hear the music, obviously, because I I turn the music off because I don't want to end up getting copyright claimed for, you know, some sort of generic in-game music. So uh, I turned it off. I don't even know. I, I mean, I've seen other people doing CMS videos, and they have the in-game music turned on, and I don't know, you know, if they're getting copyright claimed or not. I asked I asked one guy once but I never got an answer so I don't even know what the uh, truth of it is and it's just easier to not have to deal with it go ahead and just strip everything off here. At least the bushings will be easy because uh, the leaf spring rear end only has four small bushings. And we're going to have, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve regular size bushings from the front. Double wishbone suspension, that'll be easy. There's going to be a little exhaust pipe too that goes from the engine to the uh, to that front pipe there.
Oh, that was front sway bar B. I actually noticed it this time. Uh, that's good. Most of the time I don't even realize when I've taken it off so quickly. And perfect. Yank that engine out. Are you kidding me? You're going to make me take that off? Oh, it's this piece. Yeah, okay. Totally missed that piece on the other side, because there wasn't one on this side. Come here, you. I, I remember doing this, too. You, Because you, I, I looked to make sure that if you raise the, the car on the lift with the hood up, it won't hit it won't hit anything up there I remember the first time I did it I expected the hood to hit something and I thought oh I shouldn't have done that but uh, it was fine close that for now send that back up take this thing and throw it in the trash I have built out this engine before and it's just not worth it it's I mean I, you know what 750 I actually kind of hate to just flush it I'm not going to use it, but I almost would rather rebuild it and then sell it complete. Okay, front sway bar B. Inner and outer tie rods. Set of front disc brakes. And rear drum brakes. Four of the, whoops. Four of them. And twelve of these. I didn't get rid of the. F I didn't flush those other pieces already, but I'm going to get the gearbox, p uh, clutch, pressure plate, and throw out bearing together. Okay, 15% on that. We might get that back. It's borderline. Uh, shock absorber B. I need to get two of them. Boy, I was disoriented there for a second. Shock absorber B. Uh, let's flush that. I actually think there's a performance version of that. Okay, bearings and caps. 8% on you, so that's trash. One front wheel hub, two bearings, and two caps. Didn't actually mean to go that far. Okay, so these can go. Oh, look at those leaf springs. 6% on each of them, that's terrible. Okay, so let's see. U-bolts aren't repairable anyway. The, the plate is, but you know what? I'm just going to replace all this stuff. That's two of those, two of those, four of these, and one of them. Okay, so where are we at now? Replace that, and that, and that, and that. I think that was cross member E. Anything in single digit percentages, not worth trying. 10%, 12%, no, I'm not going to get those. 
I think we're down to the potentially repairable stuff. Let's see what happens. Actually repaired the drive shaft. I'm surprised, and I only saw I only saw one thing fail for sure. There were two, I think. Okay, front steering knuckle C. Actually, I think this crap is all right here. And it was a rear knuckle B. What was the other thing? A bottom suspension arm. That's going to be back up here. Okay, that should be all of our mechanical parts. Excellent, we're in good shape. So, now these tires are all 235-60-16. So they're all the same size. And we'll put modern tires on it. Crap, was that... that was 60, right? Yes, it was. 235 $3,000 for that. Oh, I eh, shouldn't have backed out too far. I want to pick some rims for this car that will look... That's not the right store. I want this one. And I think I want to be in the classic section. Maybe the retro. Now, I, I use this wheel quite a lot on the classic muscle cars because I really like it. But I want to try something a little different. This one actually looks pretty... This is, this actually, this is kind of generic looking, but it actually looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good, too. I want to just go back and look at the classic stuff, too. This one I've used before, and it looks good. I wish they had something with uh, just a standard, like, five-spoke. Not like this. With, with wider blades, rather than this. This Classic 16 here is a possibility. Also thinking of this one, which is kind of chunky which I think would fit this car. Um, you know what, let's do this. Four of those for four of those at 16. And when they're chrome, they'll be a lot they'll be really bright cuz there's a lot to them. Yeah. That'll be big honking wheel. That'll be a big honking wheel. and that's three and this one will be the last one it is so easy to lose count especially when you're painting stuff chrome because it doesn't show you exactly it doesn't show you the the little square when you just paint them chrome I think that's going to look good. It's kind of chunky. These always look tarnished when they're on here like this. Like there's lots of fingerprints on the chrome. I like that the centerpiece didn't change color. That'll give it some nice contrast. I think this is the last one to be mounted. Yeah. This one here should be done shortly.
that other wheel is going to be done, yep. Okay, that should be the last one needing to be balanced still. Yeah, that looks all right. I think that looks pretty good. It's going to look sharp outside, too. That's pretty good. I'm pretty happy with that. Let's see how we can uh, take a look at it from the side when both the wheels are on this side. Right. Yeah, it's starting to look like something now. Got to get rid of these other wheels before I accidentally install one of them. And I got to get rid of that too. Pretty sure the Hemi is going to use the same transmission on this car. So it's going to be V8OHVF, which is down here somewhere. There you are. And I, I always like repairing the old ones if I can, because it's 900 bucks there versus like 40 bucks for scrap value if it's junk. I always like to get these bushings on in the crossmember first too. Because once you have other stuff on, it's it's easy to forget that they that, that you need pardon me. Once you have other stuff stacked up in front of them, it's easy to forget them. And then you're at a point where you're looking at the car thinking you're done and you're at 99, 98% on parts and you're like, what the hell did I miss? And it's always a bushing. Sometimes it's a ignition coil, but that's not, well, actually, no, no. For this car, that's not going to be an issue. Now that, that is a good looking car. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely a good looking car. Okay, so we're not going to do that. I think I will rebuild that, that mag and then sell it just to see, because it's $750 now as is. I might go ahead and rebuild it just to sell it and see how much it's worth when it's completely done. Okay, so let's see if I can do this. 
because this engine is all V8 OHVC on the bottom end. I hung there for a minute. And so it, this is fairly easy because it's all the yellow bits. I think it's I think it's OHVF on the chain. It's going to be two of those. Going to need the belts. Got the timing cover. Going to need to get. Going to need to get the pulley. Eight of these. I actually think this front exhaust section is in the performance store. So we won't get that right this instant. Going to need that. And VHOHVC crankshaft. Going to need the H. Because ab above the block, it's V8OHVH. I got that. I need this. Going to need a water pump pulley. I can get these in the performance store. And the head cover, that I can get in the performance store. I actually think that this thing uses the other oil filter. Not sure. Uh, need a water pump pulley. Okay, need the camshaft. Carburetor A and B H for this thing. Two of those. Eight of them. And this one uses the V8 H ignition wires, and I can't remember if this thing, honest to God, I can't remember if this thing uses an ignition coil or not. So I'm just going to buy one. Rather have it and not need it than need it and not have it. For the power steering pump, it's the F power steering pump. H oil filter. H engine head. Exhaust manifold and the intake manifold. I remember I was going to get head cover. This one is a bit of an oddball because it's uh, it's actually called it's it's uh, there it is it's it's engine head cover A and B and you can tell. You can recognize these because they have the Plymouth logo, and it's where did it, where is A? It's up here somewhere. God, I'm blind. Oh, there it is. Because <laughs> there's there's a generic engine head cover right here that's for one of the I fours. <laughs> So I am, oh yep, I know I don't have everything because I just saw a fan and I didn't buy the fan. But I think, and I didn't, oh, see look, it is oil filter V8. Christ, and I just realized I forgot, uh, I need these. And I need clips for the distributor cap. Pretty sure I have an oil filter already. An air filter, rather, not an oil filter. Did I not buy a rotor? I for sure I did. Cap, 
I bought the distributor and the cap, but then I skipped down to the wires. I didn't buy the rotor. For some reason, I find building the V8 engines really satisfying. It's like they're exactly the right amount of bolting things together. Because uh, the, the, the I-4s are super simple, and the V12s are bone-numbingly boring because there's so much to them. The V8s are like that sweet spot in between too simple and too much. Just remembered I'm going to need push rods for this thing too. Because I did buy the rocker arms. That is fan B. I'm pretty sure it's F on the push rods. Starting to look like an engine. It's pretty good. I really like these because of the rocker arms. So easy to put in. I mean, mounting 16 individual rocker arms, that gets a little tedious. But when it's one big rocker arm assembly, it's so simple. Nice red air filter, and you don't get to see it anymore. That should be it. I think that's everything. Yeah. It fits like it was meant to be there. Hmm. So those pipes I bought I didn't need.
So we hook up the engine to the drivetrain and we should be all good to go. Okay, where are we? 100%. And we can test it now. I think it's a 475 horsepower engine from the beginning. Four twenty five. So we'll get seven hundred and something. Yeah, seven sixty four. Not too bad. I always like doing old school muscle cars though. Just really, really satisfying to work on. I actually didn't mean to put that there. <laughs> I always can't get over how long the charger is. I mean, it's it's like ridiculously long. It's way. It's. I mean, look at the line on the floor here, underneath the front bumper. You see how it passes well in front of the of the Mach 1 over here. Same thing with the line back here. Well, this one passes just there, and this one has way more butt sticking out behind it. In fact, if you look at it from here, you can see how much longer this car is than the Mach 1. I've built... I don't know how many of these. I've never really particularly wanted to keep one. So uh, let's take this out for a quick drive, make sure everything works good. And then we can put it up for sale. Not that. I want that. Yeah, okay, here we are. Always hit the wrong button. And, oh, no, 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 I don't want to go yet. Crap. Ugh. I came out here and I did this once already, but I accidentally didn't. I accidentally hit the pause button rather than the unpause button, so the first run on the test track didn't get recorded. So I'm out here again. Uh, car, the car looks really good. I'm really, I'm really pleased with how it looks, and I like the wheels. The wheels were a good choice. Of course, it's hard to screw up. You know, glossy black and chrome. Those go together just perfectly. And this car is solid as a rock goes down the track like a bullet. Just perfect. Okay, so let's see. It's it's not super valuable like those other cars that I've already sold, but um, 91 and 18, so it's going to be just short of 100 grand. No, <laughs> my math sucks. $109,000. Yeah, not too bad. And I actually think that putting a different engine in the car affects the value. I think it does. I'm not really sure. One of those things I always meant to experiment with and never did. I think I have a couple of Roadrunners still in storage that I could try it with. Build one engine in one and a different engine in another just to see if it makes a difference. But uh, this one is going to be sold now. So we just made a at least five, let's see, five. Those are both 2.6, so that's 5.2 million. Um, and then plus another 600,000. So call it 5.8 or so million dollars, plus another 100 grand. So almost, we, we made almost $6 million today. And that's a pretty good day in the garage. So next, we'll do the GT40 here and hopefully that will be and that'll get me a long way towards getting my parking completely cleared out but uh, that will go ahead and wrap this one up for today so if you made it this far thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope to see you again here for our next junkyard adventure so on that note bye for now